it's Becky here with the creator in me. Don't mind my sniffles that I have going on. I sound nasally, but I'm wanting to get on and share a little piano area we designed for my daughter. Oh, we enjoy playing in general, but she takes lessons. And so I'm starting with the beginning. In the beginning, there was Travis, and Travis did all the drywall work in this house. So we we did all the seams in this house and did a nice texture. We primed, taped, primed, um, textured, primed again, and we were choosing here the wall color. We were deciding whether we wanted agreeable gray or repose. Um, agreeable gray had more of warm undertones than gray, so we went with that. Here's our trim install. Um, and my daughter, this is our first night in the house, just kind of getting settled. Stuff was everywhere. This is how the piano area stayed for a while. We were blessed with this little tiny keyboard and it it worked for a while and it kind of had a farmhousey feel. You can see this hole to our plumbing of our kids' bathroom to the right. I did everything I could to try to hide that. Uh, my sister gave us this Billy bookcases. And I really loved the idea of something flanking the piano. Here I have a little inspiration picture of um, I've actually my pastor's house. She is quite the decorator and she actually gave me this little shelf that matches her little setup. And I want to mimic that in my living room. You could see here I kind of do a little piano of what our living room is like. It's kind of small. Um, and we have really small furniture, but this is kind of our front entry to the house. And so this area needs to be really, really narrow. Um, this piano area couldn't be cumbersome or take up a lot of space for entry purposes. And honestly, I, I bought a piano um, stand from Amazon that kind of came or was recommended with the piano. And it was super bulky and stuck out. So I decided that I um wanted to go ahead and just DIY it myself. So you can see here I have my shelves. I mounted each individual Billy bookcase to the wall. So I found a stud at the top there, took an L bracket, screwed it in to the top and so each um shelf is is stationary to the wall and and, and secure. And then I went ahead and cut a one by two, the length of the piano. And I wanted to go ahead and give that piano a little extra surface area to sit on. So I honestly just ran one by twos. It, it'll be strong enough because everything's in studs or wood. Um, but it kept everything really flush to the cabinetry, nothing extra protruding out besides the piano. Anyway, so I've got little mini corbel things from Walmart. Um, I think I have one here pictured on the floor that I'm going to show you as I was kind of recording this space and talking about what I was going to do next. I'm showing here the Amazon box with the stand in it that was recommended with the piano and that didn't work out. I don't like all that. Um, so the corbels here on the floor, <laughs> I kind of cut it and was preparing to attach it to each side. It's kind of like underneath that um, one by two to each cabinet and um Here's my uh, little Eden coming in to say hello. That's my little lady. She's my baby of five, so got to give her props. Um, but these shelves um, were strong enough to kind of hold the weight of the corbels and the one by two and hold the front end of that piano. So I'm going to uh, also to put L brackets on the back wall in studs and I just did bigger L brackets and um sat another one by two on there so that I could um get some good stability and just made sure everything was very level I didn't want to have issues with the piano being offset or anything weird going on so um that overall that's it I just kind of rigged this up with a whole bunch of L brackets um you can see here the mirror is still very off-centered because I didn't I had that grouping so much tighter before with the smaller keyboard but we now have a full-size keyboard with um weighted keys as you can see here I did attach both L brackets I have the one by twos under there I had to do some extra measuring and like looking online of like how high keys or the tops of keys are to the floor and the measurement was top of key to floor is 28 and a half inches so I did a little extra math to see the depth of my piano from the corbels and the one by two and um, did some extra measuring so that I could um, get that proper height. Right now we're just using a chair. Um, I do have my heart set on getting a nice piano bench. 
Um, that way it'll tuck under there even better and everything will be very low profile. Um, I have intentions here of painting everything black. I'm going to show you the supports I kind of used and did under here. You can see that L brackets against the wall and the studs. And I actually um, ran a one by two across to the front L um, one by two also because with um, a flat bracket just to give it a little extra stability. This is something where my daughter can take the piano off, go play or practice somewhere, and um, we could put it back. So nothing's permanent, um, just besides the furniture, really. Um, but painting it black will make everything look fairly seamless and getting that mirror <laughs> transition or swapped over. Um, my intentions are to actually move the thermostat. That wiring is just a teeny tiny little hole and um, I'm going to move the thermostat and probably tuck it underneath the in the shelf as well, kind of like where you see the um, fire deal. Here's the piano's area painted up. It looks really nice and clean. I'm not digging the fabric on the doors, though. I was had very, intentions on swapping it out and looked at Cane Rattan, super expensive online. And I actually found this inspiration photo from Pottery Barn was like, yes, that's what I want to do. So I pulled those doors off. And you can see me here trying to pull the little pins out. It was very interesting. Ikea definitely is very creative in how they make their furniture. <laughs> um, but here's this. I ended up having this roll. You can see it on the floor there of this woven um, cane material. I thought I could use it as like a burlap, like a runner. It did not work out for the tablescape. So I had it sitting around. I was like, oh, that looks really good. So I just took that black um, back panel wrapped that woven material around it. It really warmed things up. I painted all of the metal framing and hardware black. I did have to readjust my decor because everything was disheveled from cutting the backs of the cabinets around the base. And um, I do want to add some shelf lighting to have an ambient lighting like and feel here. And other than that, complete. <laughs>